next bit, and that is the Did You Know segment. Let's talk about goalkeeping, and we will be looking at one of the greatest goalkeepers ever in the world. No doubt about it. And we're looking at Gianluigi Buffon, the Italian legendary goalkeeper, recently uh, I don't know if he's, he's retired yet, but hey, that guy has seen it all, done it all. Now, here's the thing. Now, did you know Jean-Louis Buffon was inspired to become a goalkeeper by the Cameroonian national goalkeeper, former Thomas Encono? As a matter of fact, this is not a joke. He was the reason why Buffon became the goalkeeper and the, the, the legendary goalkeeper he is today i mean since he started you know amateur till he became a professional the one that actually inspired him and made that that you know that part of football that that position so so great so inspiring was the former cameroonian goalkeeper thomas Encono. now this actually happened after he watched him in the goalpost for cameroon in the 1990 fifa world cup however He's an Italian, so obviously he should be supporting the Azuris. Shout out to Abraham. The Azuris of, 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 of Italy, definitely. But his second team that he was constantly, you know, busy watching while they were playing or as they were playing was Cameroon. And that was because of Thomas Encono. And he actually, there's something unique about Thomas because he, you know, pioneered the, the way goalkeepers used to dress with a long track suit and then they tuck the, the track in the socks and all of that, he actually pioneered that style. So it, it became a thing for some goalkeepers like, okay, I mean, this is a new style, so let's, you know, pick it up. So yeah, Jean-Louis Buffon. And the, the, the interesting part, actually, uh, you know, this is the part that gets interesting. Now, he, he Buffon was 12 years old at that time, watching the World Cup in 1990. And they were like, this guy, I mean, this, this, this position amongst the 11 players on the pitch this is the one i want to become when i grow up and this and this is as a result of thomas and kono now um cameroon like i said was his second team and then guess what he named his um his son luis thomas after thomas and kono i mean this is how you know this is how it got this is how you know iconic uh, the the whole thing has become you know he looked up to the man to the extent that he named his son Thomas you know Luigi Buffon and this was after Thomas Encono from um, Cameroon now Buffon actually traveled to Cameroon in 2001 to play Encono's um, testimonial march you know how some you know former footballers put together some uh, football exhibition maybe to raise funds or awareness to support a particular course so Buffon was in Cameroon in 2001 and this was to support his idol the reason the man you know behind the reason why he became you know um, a goalkeeper and of course a, a fantastic one for that matter phenomenal one so that's just a piece that uh, maybe most people you know may, ha may may not have known and for uh, I'd say the football fanatics out there you know really crazy about football you may know it especially the historians at football you may know this particular piece but for that for, for the sake of our people who you know may not be aware of this here is that tip for you but I, I love it when I when I first chance to pull this piece I'm like wow 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 I mean before no doubt legendary no doubt about it okay that's all we have for the did you know segment if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it subscribe and share